I, I think somebody once said, sprinkle the crazy, don't spray it. Catastrophic weather happens. It's a fact of life. It's one of the reasons that people have insurance to protect their homes, their vehicles, and their belongings if an unforeseen and sudden event occurs. But it doesn't always happen, and there are times of the year when the chances of it happening are much lower than others. In this video, Robert Euler, past NACA president and executive vice president of the IA firm Mid-America Catastrophe Services, talks about the opportunities at Mid-America Cat, their company history and vision, and actionable strategies for not only surviving the Bluebird days and slow times as a cat IA, but thriving in them now and for your entire career, starting now. You're watching The Property IA Show. Hey, it's Matt here with The Property IA Show on Adjuster TV. And for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification so that you never miss a video. The NACA convention is always a great time. Adjusters, new and experienced, come to network with firms and other adjusters, learn about new services and tech to help them in the field, and pick up valuable training and continuing education credit. But believe it or not, IA firms come to NACA for those very same reasons. As much as it might seem like it, IA firm rosters are not forever set in stone. And not only that, it also feels like the waiting list to get off of the reserve roster and onto the active duty roster is years long. And I'm telling you, it's really not the case at all. IA firm rosters are fluid and ever changing. Adjusters are retiring from the field all the time. And in order to remain competitive, firms must find new talent, okay? And one of the best ways to get their hands on that new talent is to come to big career fairs and expos like the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters Conference every January. You have to be more than just a number on a waiting list or one resume in a pile of resumes. If that was all that was necessary to get rolling in this business, I can promise you that IA firms wouldn't spend the time and large amounts of money that it takes to attend conferences like NACA. They want to sit down with you. They wanna meet you, look you in the eye, and see if you're a good fit for their company. And you wanna do the same thing. Sit down across from a cat store manager or HR director. Look them in the eye. See if you hit it off with them. Find firms that feel like they fit you. You're interviewing them as much as they're interviewing you. Adjuster TV was blessed to be asked to attend NACA again this year and to provide coverage and video content from the event. We interviewed dozens of IA firms and asked them to tell us about their company, what makes it special, and why they attend this conference. And many of them had great advice for new folks about how to really increase their chances for success in this crazy industry. So I talked to Robert Euler from Mid-America Cat about just that. And here's Robert. I'm Robert Euler, the Executive Vice President for Mid-America Catastrophe Services. Uh, we're based out of Mobile, Alabama, and we are a nationwide company. We handle daily claims uh, throughout the country, as well as catastrophe claims. Mid-America started in 1980, so we've been around 40 years. Uh, it started in the Midwest, in Des Moines, Iowa. And in 2012, 2013, the current owners, Zach Meadows and Stacy Story, transitioned into ownership, at which point they moved the headquarters to Mobile, Alabama. We're headquartered out of a 14,000 square foot facility there, as well as an office in uh, Bernie, Texas, just outside of San Antonio. Bob Euler started March 9th, 1980 with State Farm Insurance. I worked there for 16 and a half years and I went independent June 3rd of 1996, at which time I was working for Worley Companies out of New Orleans where I was a senior catastrophe manager. Uh, I worked with them for 11 years, at which time I had the opportunity to work for Lloyds of London, and I did an 18-month stint with them. In uh, August of 2008, I started uh, a new position with uh, uh, Ebro Claim Service out of Denver, Colorado. Uh, I started off as their director of claims and then uh, moved up to their senior vice president position. I was with them until April of 2016, at which time I took a position with the best IRS out of Phoenix. I was their senior vice president and moved up to executive vice president. I left with the best IRS uh, in December of 2018 and I started with Mid-America January 1st of 2019. Uh, over this last year, we've doubled in size. Uh, my position as executive vice president is to de client development, uh, client relations, 
oversight of the operational side of it as well. Our vision for 2020 is to double that size again, giving our adjusters more opportunity. Uh, the thing about Mid-America is that we are an adjuster, an adjusting company built by adjusters for adjusters. We're looking for everybody to be successful, and to that we have to have adjusters that are committed to our clients, and we're as committed to both our clients and our adjusters. I am a past president of NACA and a life member, so I, I do have a little bit of bias, and so we'll get that out of the way right away there. NACA is a great opportunity for adjusters. You get to meet a lot of the firm principals, you get to meet a lot of the HR people, and the people that are in deployment that are actually going to deploy you to a storm. That's one of the greater benefits of NACA is the networking opportunities. In addition, they've got classes and continuing education courses. And of course, it's in Vegas, so there's a little bit of fun involved. Advice for new folks. Um, I've been in this 40 years, and so over the years, I've seen some of the pitfalls, some of the successes, some of the opportunities that adjusters should be looking at when they start the career. The biggest thing, and we've talked about this before, is professionalism. When you're on a CAT site, when you're in the office, when you're talking to other adjusters, adjusting firms, uh, staff adjusters, carrier personnel and staff, you've got to be professional at all times. You can't let a bigger personality escape you, for lack of a better word, to the detriment of your career. You're an independent adjuster, you're gonna have some quirks. I, I think somebody once said, sprinkle the crazy, don't spray it. My advice would be to sprinkle a little bit of that because we're all unique and, and that creates a good relationship with your people, just don't be spraying it. The other advice I have, I call it fair weather planning because we as adjusters have to save for fair weather. Other people save for a rainy day, we as adjusters there's periods of time when there's not claims. There's periods of time when there's not weather. Last year was an example of that. You need to save or build a war chest to where you can weather the storm or lack thereof so that you can make it to the next one. We as an IA firm want you to be part of the industry for years to come, but you have to be fiscally responsible. We want you to survive and flourish in this environment. And the biggest thing I see people do is they, they get the money, they spend it, and then they arrive to the storm broke, which puts them in a bind, and, and they take too many advances. And there's, not that we won't give advances, but we want you to be successful. And, and if you're out on the road all the time, you want your family to be successful too. And you have to put aside some money to make sure that you survive and put some money across for retirement. That's a big thing that people get up 15, 20 years in this industry, and they don't have any savings, they don't have an IRA, they don't have a 401k program, they don't have any retirement plans. Early on in your career, you should start looking at your financial stability in the future. We talked about the vision for, for Mid-America. This year, we're gonna double in size. Uh, we're looking for quality adjusters, so there's a huge opportunity for adjusters with Mid-America. And then going back to NACA, great opportunity to meet all of these competitors of friends of mine. There's 50 of them. They're all good companies, and you have to find your niche. And you have to find the adjusting firm that fits you. Hopefully, Mid-America is that company. Become a member of NACA today and get access to some really incredible resources to help you start your career as an IA off right, including mentoring. Visit NACATADJ.org to learn more and to become a member. And you heard Robert. Mid-America Catastrophe is expanding. They're a great company run by a really great group of dedicated folks, many of whom I've known personally for more than 15 years. Learn more and apply at midamcat.com. Question of the day, will you be attending NACA in 2021? You know Adjuster TV will be there. Give us a thumbs up in the comments if you plan to attend this crucial networking and career building event in January. And for much more information about crushing it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. And if you got value from this video, you can help us create more videos just like this by subscribing to the Adjuster TV channel on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? There are tons more videos just like this on adjustertv.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.